Hi, I am Father C.M. Paul, H.O.D. Mass Communication at Solution College, Sanada. Today we shall discuss Contextualized Journalism for MassCom 4th Semester, CC8, Introduction to New Media. Contextualized Journalism Let us start with the definition of journalism. Journalism is the activity or profession of writing news reports for newspapers, magazines or news websites or preparing news to be broadcast. Journalism is also the activity of gathering, assessing, creating and presenting news and information. In doing this, in classic news reporting, journalists use the formula of 5 W's and 1 H. That is, they try to answer who, what, why, when, where, and how of a news situation. However, in web news journalism, we have a situation different from print and broadcast journalism, where it takes longer time to process and distribute the news. So, what is web journalism? Web journalism digital journalism or online journalism is a contemporary form of journalism where editorial content is distributed through the internet as opposed to publishing by way of print or broadcast medium. When did web journalism start? It originated in the early 1990s. It is believed that a major increase in digital online journalism occurred around this time when the first commercial web browsers like Netscape Navigator in 1994 and Internet Explorer in 1995 appeared. By 1996, most mainstream news outlets had an online presence. Digital journalism represents a revolution of how news is consumed by society. Online sources are able to provide quick, efficient and accurate reporting of breaking news in a matter of seconds, providing society with a synopsis of events as they occur. How is web journalism different from traditional journalism? Traditional journalism disseminates information through printed materials such as newspapers and other broadcasting medium such as television and radio. Online journalism on the other hand has its articles published in the internet. Traditional journalists on the other hand write their articles for newspaper and broadcast platforms. Characteristics of online journalism include hypertextuality, multimediality, interactivity, and immediacy. The advantages of online journalism are as follows. Online journalism is cost effective. It is search based. Web space is unlimited and can cover a lot of stories. It can provide value added services. It can be accessed anywhere from the world. As you are listening to this radio or podcast platform. The presentation and appeals are creative and various. It is in this context that we talk of contextualized journalism. Author John Pavlik in his book entitled Journalism and New Media tells journalists have always sought to place stories into a more complete context. However, the practical limitations of time and space in the newspaper of traditional media have meant stories being truncated, cut down or shortened by their editors and told from a single point of view rather than the whole truth behind the news being presented. Professor Pavlik further describes a new form of news emerging in the online or electronic world. 
it is contextualized journalism he says it is multidimensional and can produce more engaging reporting and more complete information in the process benefiting democracy by better informing a global citizenry in favor of contextual journalism professor pavlik argues that whether achievable or not objectivity and truth can best be pursued through a storytelling medium that supplies the texture and context possible in an online multimedia and interactive environment so what is the meaning of contextualization it means guiding readers through large convoluted news topics it means giving readers the context of the news how it will affect them that is in a contextualized journalism we are going to see a shift in how we help people understand where information fits and what it means in the 1950s stories or news reports were largely focused on the who what where when and why but today news reports or articles are increasingly providing the back story that is the background as a consequence readers are getting much more than just facts they are getting the so what and the why of the news report labeling this new style of reporting is called contextual journalism to study this phenomena of contextualized journalism american scholars katherine fink and michael shatson of columbia university tracked three newspapers the new york times the washington post and the milwaukee journal sentinel for the years 1955 1967 1979 1991 and 2003 The researchers performed a content analysis on about 1900 individual stories grouping them by genre and type. In the resulting 2013 study entitled The Rise of Contextual Journalism between 1950s and the year 2000 which appeared in the academic publication Journalism the authors found that journalists were increasingly supplementing the hard facts of a story with interpretation the scholars who did the study katherine fink and michael shatson of columbia university argue that the verdict on whether the shift toward contextual journalism is positive is still up for debate they insist that contextual journalism has emerged as a powerful and prevalent companion to conventional news reporting however its impact on how people understand their world they say has yet to be explored another american scholar jonathan stray writes in an article for harvard university's neiman journalism lab supporting contextualized journalism saying no one needs a news organization to know what the white house is saying when all press briefings are posted on youtube what we do need is a someone to tell us what it means in other words journalism must move up the information food chain that means journalism besides supplying the news must also provide the context <laughs> professor John Pavlik the executive director of the Center for New Media at Columbia University's Graduate School of Journalism in his book Journalism and New Media argues that the new media can revitalize news gathering and re-engage an increasingly distrustful and alienated citizenry through contextualized journalism in exploring the pot- potential of contextualized journalism with its use of new digital capabilities in video and audio professor pavlik argues convincingly that these techniques offer opportunities 
for the practice of better journalism which will bolster public faith in the media thus the digital platform gives journalism a method of reaching younger audiences creating dynamic stories and providing more ways of delivering information to the public the new media technology is enabling the emergence of a new form of news best described as contextualized journalism thus contextualized journalism incorporates not only the multimedia capabilities of digital platforms but also the interactive hypermedia and fluid and fast changing qualities of online communications so to sum up we discussed the topic contextualized journalism stating what is journalism characteristics of old old style journalism what is web journalism and how web journalism is different from traditional journalism followed by characteristics of web journalism the results of 2013 study on contextual journalism by columbia university professors katherine fink and michael shutson and we conclude with professor john pavlik's book journalism and new media which argues that contextualized journalism will help better journalism thank you